Hey, what's up guys? A lot of you guys request me to make a better drain test on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So today I'm going to make a video for you guys. On the Whitepool website, it says the iPhone 11 Pro Max, if you're watching videos, it's kind of lost for 20 hours. So of course, I'm not going to make a video for the last 20 hours. That's going to be too long. So what I'm thinking is since the phone charge from 0% to 100%, why don't I just test out how long does it take to drain 10% of the battery of this phone and then I can times 10 so equals to the total length of this battery not last. I saw some people did a better drain test on iPhones. They basically did a stress test. They record videos in 4K. They play videos, uh, things like that. But every day pretty much, you know, when I used my phone, I was on um, texting, calling, FaceTime, playing some games, but not that much and also play videos and music. So today I'm going to play videos on this iPhone and I'll turn up to the the highest volume and also the brightest. And let's see how long does it take to drain 10% of the battery of this phone. So we can just get the simple results. How long the phone gonna last if the phone is fully charged. So right now my iPhone is 19%. Now let me just play some videos. I'm thinking, why don't we just go to my own channel, you know, play videos on my own channel. Let's see how long this last after 10%. So, so let's take a look right now. The phone is 19%. I'm going to turn up to the brightest and also highest volume. I have my Bluetooth and also uh, Wi-Fi on. Let's play some videos. Okay, the first video finished playing. Let's check out how much battery left. Let's see. It only takes Introducing two percent. Introducing new websites plus marketing. Wow. Obviously, you know what websites are. Lisa. I can't believe this only takes ten percent. I mean, I can't believe this only took two percent of the battery. Okay, let's keep watching another video. Okay. 
are going to take out the white thing, put back into the glass. Make sure that you don't touch the adhesive on the back. If you do, this may cause bubbles. Position your screen on your iPhone. Make sure you have a dirty edge on the top view. That is easier for you to position the glass. And then gently put down the edges on the edges. Once you see the right position, you see this. Make sure this right here is not covered. The one that's in position, you just gently press with your two fingers. Go up. You see there's no bubbles. And then, if there's no bubbles, you just make sure to press on them. Then press on the inside, out. If there is any. Then just clean your screen. Just make sure it's good. There you have it. So if you like to know what happens now, it's been covered. If you have a day, it's been covered. If you have a day, it's been covered. I'm going to put it on the next down. So you go cut out. You're going to move out further. And I'm going to put it on the next. All right, play another video. Let's see. Um, wow, it's only 16%. So, so far, I only used a 3%. So, so far, I only used a 3% batteries. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. This is really good, actually. Um, what else? Should I watch um, a different video? Okay. Let's see. Hey, what's up, guys? This is DJI Spark and also the remote controller. I have been playing videos on the iPhone 11 Pro for 23 minutes and only used 5% of this battery. So let's do a simple mess right now. Let's use 23 times 20 because in 100% there are 25%, right? So I got 460. This is in minutes and let's convert that to hours, which is 7.6. 7.6 hours you can play videos straight for 7.6 hours non-stop and also this is in highest brightness and also highest volume but in real life i don't think everyone gonna play their video on the highest volume and the highest brightness for a straight 7.6 hours right so on the website it says up to 20 hours for videos so I think that's pretty true you know since I've been using this phone for almost two weeks and every day I don't I don't have to charge this phone every day but I remember before when I was using iPhone X I had to charge my phone every single day because battery drains really fast and for this phone I charge one day and next day by the end of the next day I still have around 40, 50 percent. I used to phone a lot. I used to play games, watch videos, you know, calling someone, texting. 
but I'm not gonna be on the phone for straight eight hours just watching videos, you know. So the next day, I still have almost half of the battery to carry on until the end of the second night, and then I have to charge it. So I still think this is really good in battery compared with any iPhones I have ever used. You know, at the beginning of this video, I was trying to think to get to 10%, 10%, but that requires around like one hour to straight recording videos. I don't think anyone wants to do that. So instead of doing 10%, I just did 5%, and instead of times 10, I just times 20, which is the same math. So this is the battery drain test you guys been asking for. Leave a comment if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you guys next time.